Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just filmed this really beautiful night out, holiday makeup. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet, but it is a beautiful glitter cranberry eye and just really beautiful face makeup. It is like full glam. If you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna prime my face first with the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. I hope the lighting's okay, it is late. Let's see, it is 7.30, so the sun has already been down for a long time. Next up, I did buy the full size of this, but I just want to use the sample because why not? I'm going to mix linen and silk together. This is Sh Shiseido's um, new foundation. It is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Medium Foundation. It's SPF 30, medium buildable coverage, fresh natural finish, available for all available in 30 shades for all skin types. So, um, get four shades here. And those are all the shades on the back. I can't remember, my box is over there. I can't remember which shade I got, but I'm gonna mix linen and silk and we'll see which one works better. So that is linen and let's see, silk. That looks a little too light on camera. And then 310 silk, this might actually be perfect. actually once it's blended in will be perfect so um when i'm not tan like now i will be 310 silk i don't think i got 310 silk i think i got <laughs> sand or something which is what i usually am when i'm tan but i've lost all my tan so you get a generous amount in this so i'm just going to start with maybe that much looks maybe a little light but we can warm it up with um with some and i'm not sure if this oxidizes but it's a little bit light i would rather my foundation be like a half a shade too dark and just bring it down my neck because i don't like to look ghostly it is very lightweight on the skin looks great it's not settling we will see how it is i can tell with a foundation by the time that i get done with the um like applying all my makeup i can just tell if i like it i'm gonna take cedar which is the next darkest shade and contour the face a little bit This is just going to warm up the face. That blended so easy. And give us a little bit of dimension back into our face. I love that. So. I think that's really pretty. Now I'm going to do my concealer. I'm actually going to use, I got these samples. I could have contoured with this, but I'll try that a different time. I'm going to use porcelain. Or maybe swan. Maybe we'll use Swan. Um, this is the Born This Way concealer. Multi-use sculpting concealer, super coverage. I heard that this was um, a little more hydrating than the Tarte Shape Tape. So we're going to play with it and we're going to see. I love that they give you all of these colors to play with. So Swan is this color. And it also comes in that shaped one. I'm gonna take some underneath my eyes. This may be a little too light, but I'm afraid that the one, we can always mix. So I might need a little bit more under here. So I'm gonna go into porcelain, because that one's definitely a little too light. A little light but once it all comes together it'll look fine promise but that is it I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to set it yet so I'm gonna give it a second I don't have to set the Tarte Shape Tape um, and in person this looks easy like I could totally wear this out in camera it looks a little bit bright so it's probably my ring light reflecting um, so if you are my shade and you like a bright under eye in foundation then definitely get the porcelain. 
And that's the second shade that is in there. I'm gonna go over the face with this Matte Highlight 01 from Laura Mercier. Just take a big fluffy brush and go over the entire. If you wanna use this as like a natural highlight, definitely a good option for you. Um, I love this product. Let's bronze the face a little bit. This Laura Mercier bronzer in Soleil. This is the number one. I'm just gonna take that same big fluffy brush, go in to this bronzer. This is a really nice, natural, light-toned bronzer. I'm just gonna do the high points of the face where um, I would naturally be tanned. And this smells like coconuts. <laughs> it smells so good. I am gonna tan my neck here because I am just so pale. Now for a little blush, I have this sample right here that I want to try. It is um, Dolly and Mykonos by Buxom. These are their Wonderlust blushes. I'm gonna go into Dolly. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that in. It's a really pretty blush. I think it's a gorgeous color. I'm gonna take that same powder brush and just go over the edges of that just to soften it. I have three new lip products that I want to test out today. It is the Avon 2-in-1 Lip Tattoo, so Lip Line and Fill Duo. I have this by Laura Mercier. It is the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Vibe. And then I have the Avon Soft Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Ambitious. Amb 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 <laughs> it's hard for me to say. So I'm not a big fan of this. Um, at all. I, it's not coming out and I can just, I'm just, I don't like it. I like a regular lip liner. So I'm going to take Boldly Bare and just line my lips that way. And then I'm going to go in with this darker one first. This is Vibe and that actually matches Boldly Bare perfect. And I'm going to do a little bit of Ambitious in the center here. So I would say this is a little more peachy and a little bit brighter. I'll swatch it for you. That is it right there. I'm gonna fill in my brows with the It Cosmetics Brow Power. Okay, brows are on. I'm gonna use Pixie Scent Over some new items. This is Pixie and Chloe Morello in Parfait. Okay, this is the Laura Mercier Highlighter in Devotion. So you can see that it's just really pretty natural. Highlight. Okay, I have a few new eye products that we're gonna play with today. The Milani eyeshadow palette that they sent me, I gave one of them away. Um, Caviar Stick, Glimmer Shadow, and Milani Eyeliner. And you have a nice big mirror too, so I'm gonna go in Peach Fuzz right here. These are powdery, so be careful. Very pigmented. That is really pretty. So you need just barely any. And I love this big mirror, it's so pretty. You guys, that foundation is not settling in any of my lines, but I definitely need a warmer shade. So I'm hoping the one that I actually ordered and I have sitting over there is the right shade <laughs> because I'm loving it so far. And that concealer, that concealer is really pretty. That's a gorgeous, I'm very peachy today. I was not, um, I didn't plan the peach look, but here we are. We're going for it. I'm gonna take Over Baked, which is this one right here, and apply a little bit to deepen up that crease. Very powdery, so be sure that you dust them off. I'm just taking a smaller blending brush. I didn't think we we're gonna be this dramatic with eyeshadow, but I'm here for it. Okay, I can't decide if I want to go into, I think I'm gonna go into um, this old fashioned right here and put that on the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of our Avon Glimmer Shadow in Fool's Gold and just get a little bit on the back of my hand. Just put that right on the center of the eyelid. My camera got too hot. <laughs> so I lined my 
upper line my upper lid and my water line and smudge it out with a little smudger that's on the milani this is the color semi sweet i'll have all these products listed and linked down below for you guys to read about and then i smudged the darker shade over baked mixed with peach fuzz underneath um the lash line and then i put on wispy Wispies lashes from Ardell and I'm gonna throw on some mascara once they dry and then I couldn't stand it I just needed a nude lip. So I Put a little bit of this Maybelline um, Loyalist on which is just my favorite. I wear it all the time and It gave me a really Nice nude that complements. Oh, and I couldn't resist this glitter this Femi Femi I don't know how to pronounce it Femi glitter I just put that on the lid a little bit. Who knows if it's gonna stay. I don't have any glitter glue. Um, actually I do, I'm just too lazy to get up and get it. And then I sprayed my face with Fix Plus. So let's do a little bit of a mascara and we will be done. You guys will have to let me know what you think about this look. Maybe this is like a New Year's Eve makeup look. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing for New Year's Eve. Okay, so just use the Lash Paradise Mascara. And this is the final look. I'll get up close for you guys to see the eyeshadow. And this face makeup, I am definitely gonna get the full size of the concealer that we used. And I love the foundation because it just looks like perfected skin without being heavy and gross. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure you subscribe before you leave. Vlogmas is coming up and you do not want to miss that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.